Thank you very much for the invitation. It was a great pleasure to come back to this place and have some happy and productive years. So I uh, I speak about a formula for the kernel of the non-abelian transforms. So this is a, a report on a joint work in progress with the uh, Zilling duo. So but before coming to this, I think I have to, you know, to do some. Yeah, you have to say what it's all about. <laughs> Sorry, oh, it's all about. It. Introduce it. Yeah. yeah, of course. So. Um, let me start with the um, uh, standard plan lens, kind of construction plan lens, maybe 40 years back, automorphic L functions. So we have G of reductive groups over some global fin K. And you have this level dual group LG, and uh, it, we have a finite dimension representation of these complex groups in a vector space, finite dimension vector space. And, um, uh, and now we have by automorphic representations. Uh, this can be have, you can write a as a product of local representation where we run through the set of on places of the global things. So, by this representation of uh, B, completion of B, and for almost on. D, I'm uh, not a team in place D, pi B is this uh, undermified. And the undermified representation can be uh, classified by some you know, the dual groups for, for when G is split, there is the uh, G split. This is of sigma v as um, some missive on conjugacy class in the in this lambda dual. So, just to really make it similar, but I don't want to go into these details, the technical details. And so we have the, the incomplete of so so the for on v is uh, away from a finite place of s, finite place of Finite uh, set of places, okay, including activity and place. So we have all this data consisting of some simple conjugacy classes of the dual groups. And so we uh, form the, uh, the, the incomplete L functions depend on complex parameter S by this rule by forming the infinite product of all the log in S. Local uh, L factors. And for this place, and this is the, by definition determinant of 1 QV minus S rho of this sigma V. So it's from matrix, you can take determinant minus one. And this, uh, this, if it put up, is going to converge for the real property of S. Wait a second. This thing is independent of everything that is dependent on G. Uh, so for this, uh, this paper of Langlands is formula of a couple of conjectures, including that you can uh, uh, you can uh, define Langlands conjectures on morphic L functions. Including the definition, right, of L factors remaining place, remaining places, so so that come from the lambdas uh, local correspondences, and uh, so this LS by 
I'll roll at me here. We are remotely continuation. And after inserting these uh, the finite finite demand remaining factors, we had to complete our functions. Satisfy some function, uh, function equations. Very similar to the function equation of the imaginative function. So this is only one of the main goals of the Langlands programs. Uh, it is known in some case, important case in all case. Medical standard case and the standard case. And main the most important one is on G by 2 G L N. And the rule is the standard representation of G L N. And this is the Jacques and Bourdon, which very much generalized that there is in the table. And of course, the, uh, the general case follows from Bourdon Jacques theory. If you are willing to admit the factorality conjectures. Factorality conjectures. And they are speaking the Penzoc theorem. Tell that you can go back that uh, if you know the, uh, all these properties about the uh, automatic air function, then you get popularity uh, just So, this is a lot of hard work, but they are basically good. Uh, so, let me recall very briefly uh, what Mont Jacquet. Uh, what? Um, so, good uh, Jacques is generalization of that this where uh, you can interpret this program L function in terms of some Fourier analysis. Uh, so, in this, we have this uh, embed group GLN embed inside a space of matrices. So, this is a vector space of matrices of uh, N by N matrices. It contains GN as open subset. Uh, so for every, uh, I'm talking about only about non Archimedean place, but for, uh, for Archimedean place as well. So if F is K and V, the coefficient of, of K at some place, and for non Archimedean place, you also have the ring of integers. Then they, they do a full theory, they, they use this short space SV is literally short space of short function, short blue hat function on the place of matrices. F. Smooth, so local constant and compare support function. And this space contain a distinguished element where I have a beta v for some reason. It's just characteristic function of the integral, uh, integral matrices, set uh, integral matrices. And, and with help of these uh, distinguished vectors, you can form the other uh, Schwartz functions is a tensor product in some sense upon this SD. And literally, it is a space function generated by the function of the form. So we have 
Or for some finite demanding place, you can choose uh, some arbitrary function, phi v is s v, but at the remaining place, you, you want to take this basic function, beta v in the remaining place. So just linear combination of these functions. And then with the, uh, the choice of some additive characters, Um, and the fully transforms on, on the function of the matrices. They treat the space matrix as vector space in the fully transforms. And with the, uh, the kernel of fully transform, is going to be to be the function of x in, uh, inside the matrix in F into the psi of the choice of x. Use the side the trace of x to do the fully transforms. And um, you know, by the, the soft sum we've been introduced, the one mainly is very stable in the fully transform. So the, this psi map uh, m sv to sv and, and uh, this fully transforms. And fully of uh, the basic function is the same for almost all v. There's some, some, you know, something with the ramified place, but that is enough. So, so because it, it works, this has equality for almost all place. You have this uh, fully transformed from the SA to SA. And of course, because you're doing with vector space, then you have also the, the, the all important first observation formula. It look like the uh, um, sum of gamma inside M and of K of phi V is the same as uh, gamma in M and K, but the full return from the phi V. And so, so the, and that is entirely on the, on the side of the, of the function of the groups. But when you apply the, the median transform, so locally you get the local L factors, and uh, the global function equation is can be derived from this special summation formula. So uh, by uh, so by two thousand, Bagman and Kashdan propose some have some proposal. Which somehow it some very, you know, just some kind of very nice, simple mind you know, like version of this. Yeah. Uh, so just pick all the ingredients and try to make it work for a certain situation. So instead of passing by popularities, you just want to, to, to construct on this directly. So, of course, it sounds very nice, but it doesn't have to be very difficult. It was trying. So now, um, again, now G is deductive groups of a global thin K. And then uh, what was this representation? At some point, I have to add some extra condition about the same place itself, but I can add later. Um, so we want to do something to have something that is uh, play zone of the, the space of matrix. And that is going to be when you define a space to not to be your algebraic monoid. M go uh, that contains G as an open subset of invertible element. Invertible point. So this is an alpha, it's a phi of using alpha and norm. <clears throat> and then you want to define a short space. So S V row. Now you need to put the row in. Uh, some now it's going to be a function. 
a smooth function on on g on g of, of, of f of k of b uh, uh, which is uh, is relatively compactly supported so in the moment the support to the closure is going to be compact inside the inside the model. So you don't want the function to be to be a smooth function like this. Basically, I mean if this is not smooth, so it doesn't make sense to take smooth function on this space. So you can have some kind of function which plus some some local condition on the boundary. Right. We had to take into account the, the nature of singularities of this moment. Are you for a local field? They are a local field, yeah. KB is local field. And you have you want to have some basic elements or some some basic element inside inside this short space for every V, at least identify V for non-accumulated base V. And so we can speak of the <coughs> The, the space of row, adelic row shots function. If you should depend on, on these basic functions, just as in the case of uh, cellular case. So this is three point, and then you want the you want the some some kind of Fourier transform, some kind of non abelian Maybe it depends on all the Fourier transforms. So it's FV on the short space V row. Maybe you put row here or something. So it's also row everywhere. And it, it had to, to fix the, this type of Gauss functions, basic functions, but almost on V. And finally, of course, what is the, the only important is the, is the, the possible summation formula. But they don't, cannot sum over M, you sum over, over G. So, so gamma in, in G of K, the phi gamma is the same as Fourier rho gamma in G of K, of phi. Of gamma. Of course, because we, we ignore the country boundaries, you have to for some v satisfying some local conditions. For this, you can put phi to be to vanish on the boundary at one place in the full vanish or another place. I mean, that is maybe you can do better, but it's at least going to do something like this. All right, so this look um, a bit uh, but if there's some progress has been made on this, these questions. I define all these things, right? <coughs> Sorry? I give you the candidates. And it's either as a yes, what? And the candidates of BBC. And not the short space, I don't know the short space, but uh, what did they do? What, what did Kashtan and Braverman? Did they just? Did they well, know? they kind of, you know, they did not exactly in this list, but they, they discussed this thing. Like, for example, they discussed they wanted really that the fully transform to be have some kind of defined algebraically, and this is what it means. And not clearly what it means yet, but you know, it's okay. yeah, right. yeah. And this is a lot more finite field okay, to we'll come back to later. About blackboard the buffer, I am. I don't understand why you don't have pi and pi dual and only pi. Because I can go. Uh, the function oh, yeah. 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 yeah, you can have to go to row to, to do one row. But the Fourier transform goes to the same row, not to the dual. Is that right? In New York. Uh, uh, 
you know, it, it must go to the blue one. But you know, uh, at this stage, I, I, I don't know how to define the, the, the short space. Okay. And is it easy to say how this is meant to be related to the L function? Oh, I'm completely compared to this. Yes. So now at least this. Uh, one and three is, is basically settles. Uh, I'll explain this now. Two is, is far from being settled, but I think is that you know, we you know can understand what is going on. But uh, so for four, but we have some, some candidate. A candidate is some kind of explicit formula for GNN, for example. And uh, for five is very far from anything so so uh, for uh, for the moon I think I'm not going to explain this but it's, it works in the uh, very well the situation at least for like if you have G that you have some kind of math to GM so only you have some kind of GM in this story with the monoid it does a GM that exists so you need to add some GM by time and then the the, the it's best it will best when the you don't need this but I let me do split now so you have the GM on the dual size and GM of zero so it look really very best in the period this is uh, just a scalar multiplication it's not limited to this claim, but I just say that, you know, I prefer to, to basic my to this. And also, the, so now it is irreducible now, so. Representations. And then in this case, you can construct, like, this case, I'm sure what is more of it. So I'm not going to, come, you know, I've been, Lecture this many times, and I didn't want to come back to this, but this this is actually not so, so difficult because the monoid is very much like toric varieties in the case of torus, and it can be do it by combinatorics, right? And the uh, representation gives you you know a lot of information to, to do this combinatorics to construct this. It's one way, there's so many ways to construct it, and the other way is is it's called the, the universe on Winberg monoid. So so Winberg has this kind of very little construction for every uh, simply connected group, it has some kind of canonical monoid. So we take simply connected group, check the adjoint group, check the wonderful compactness of the adjoint group, and we know what the PK group of the wonderful compactification. So it has actually a canonical top source under the torus of simply connected group, and take that space. And take affinization of that, and that happens to be a monoid, and that is with monoid, and can construct many more out of that, just doing fiber product in this one of them. So, so then you start with uh, maximal doors, uh, uh, simple root system to define all of that. I can do this, but you know, they can, yeah, yeah. And can you tell for the symplectic similitudes what you? I used to know that, but I, 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 do, I forgot, yes. No, but it, you know, it's very straightforward in the, in the sense that you, uh, like in the, it comes from the cup on the composition, right? Uh, for GF to GO, B lambda, GO, and you want to write algebraic condition to detect the double class, the lambda. So in the case of GNN for doing that, you had to embed. Uh, she led to the on the on the on the uh, watch on the um, fundamental representation and look at the EGC GCD upon the entry mark coefficient. So what you do actually should embed GLN into the product upon the on the GLN upon the wedge. And then add the scalars and take the closures. And that another construction of Wilbur Monoid. And so that, that gives you a way to, to recover cut on the composition. And so very much it is a lambda. You want here is 
you can con con derive from this. So we have this uh, rule. Um, I, I come to this in the case of Torek varieties. It's very simple and related. Then the, and the, for the third point, under the same assumption, to, in the paper with the Boutier, the varieties. We have a geometric interpretation of this basic function. So this is the D, beta D. Then we see that the IC function of the, um, of the half space of this moment with the differential here. So we are very precise and uh, we have a formula that we to the real function. And, uh, uh, <coughs> so we have a choice of, of this beta D on my D tensor determinant to the S is, is, is zero if S is pi is, is, is not under the fact. And it's going to be the, the, the local factor that you want is L S D V if my D is under the fact. Somehow the both of monoid is desired when this thing works. So this is you know, this is kind of you know, this is our space is the, uh, the variety of different dimensionals. So it's not clear at all how to define the curve shift, and the, you cannot you don't know how to define it, but you can define all these IC functions because the art space is a low, you know, formal completion is can be written by finite many equations. And the function doesn't depend on how you write it fundamentally. So this is this makes make sense. And then you can use some model to prove this formula. All right, so 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 that's why I'm I'm was saying that uh, although we don't know how to do it, it you know it, it's not like uh, it's like not this five question, it, it's very much related to the singularity this art space. You have to kind of the most important function in this. And the, you know, this space had to be satisfying properties like had to be low cones, so it had to be stable under multiplications of smooth form and the monoid. It had to be stable under convolutions. It had to be under two actions, on the multiplication and also on the convolution. So from this area, we have quite a large space. We had to add some more. What is the IC stand for? It's such a complex. It's a trace function on the, you know, sort for uh, perverse sheet. You don't know how to define perverse sheet, but it can define the function. It's a canonical function. All right, so, um, so you know, I in today I really want to try to advocate some, some you know, some formula for this. It's very tentative, but I think it's worth reporting. All right, so now the, on the question of the four, of this role for the transform. So what the expectation that it expect to have the four, a phi map to, you had to just convert the sum from function payroll. Now it's about some one of some one of local things. But payroll is you know, is stable in value. Distribution <coughs> on G of K V. And if you want it to be essentially Compactly supported on the monoid. So this makes sense when you, at least with fee, you know, when we convert with, with some functions, everything will be the compact support on the monoid, and then it can be um, And you want it to be, uh, this is the 
one of the points of Batman Castle papers, you want to some kind of obtained by some kind of algebraic integration. Not completely clear what it means, but you know, we uh, okay, roughly understand what it means. And of course, you want that they will act on the reducible representation as at the scatter if it has a correct gamma factors. So, gamma, gamma rule factors. So we don't know gamma rules on the time, but at least if we know it has to work correctly by the same factors. And of course, we want it to be want it to be in positive and in detail. So this is actually be big equivalent. And uh, of course, we want to possible summation. And you know, we have to spell to to stabilize the the basic function that we now define and uh, and have possible special. <clears throat> a lot of things to, to wish for. But I mean that you have to try to do it. So you try the usual for me is not exactly involutive. Yes, something yeah, exactly. involutive is absurd, yeah. In, it just had to train the same, the same, the same, the same modification in user future. So, I mean, the one case is kind of perfectly clear is a torus case. The torus case, uh, so now G equal to T is a torus. I mean, it's actually important to not assume it's split, so maybe not split, not necessarily, not necessarily split. And then you have the a representation of the dual group torus with the color part inside some vector space. And so uh, so the galois of the, 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 the feed, whatever the feed you are on, act on the multi set of rho of the of the weight of rho relative to the the connected torus. So this is a little combinatorial data that you need to do. Then this data give you this thing. You have you have the D rho going to T mapping to A1, D rho mapping to M rho. So here D rho is an induced torus. It means that you go to the very restriction from k prime to k of gm, the k prime over k is finite time algebra. That you given to you by this option, the color group after this finite multiple set. And uh, a rho is, a, is the very restriction of k prime to k of a one. And because of a restriction, you have a path, the choice map. And uh, you know it, it's not hard to see that it's actually equivalent. Giving representation of dual group is the same to give it some kind of mapping from induced torus. So in the case the split, if it was split, what would end, what would this compactification be? Well, let me do the case of let is nice example. This case TGM. I like this example a lot. So the other side you have C star. Let do the the row to be the standard. The standard. <coughs> then you this is then then you have just GM square mapping to GM. The multiplication this is going to be two. Have a multiplication go to a one. And then you have choice map as sum to coordinate. And also, if you do, if you denote by D1, that all this will check the kernel of 
of this whole morphism from bureau to team. So most of the time, I think I actually seem to be subjective, you know. It, but it not, do not have to be, but I just assume it to be. So what is M rho in this example? No, so I'm going to say that. So M rho is going to be to be exactly the M rho mod of the GIT quotient by this kernel. Uh, we, we can construct a vectoric variety that can be the same as the GIT quotient. So we all see that somehow it, it has some maybe some kind of stuff we put in between. But, uh, uh, all right. So um, so in this case here, it would have just been A1 in the. Uh, yes, in this case, uh, it's in A1. Yes. yes. You, you know, you look at invariant forms of A2, right? Like, uh, okay. You know, the hyperbolic action is A1. All right. So. Um, um, so in this case, you know, the um, it's kind of clear what you want the what is the, the kernel you want. So if this is the kernel given by the trace, the psi of the trace, and just integrate along the fibers. I see, but even in this case, it's A1, the short space is some exotic thing of functions pushed forward. Exactly. 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 In this case, the um, the uh, the short space is uh, uh, you know, at zero, it can be it can be uh, the combination of the constant function and the valuation function. So there are two germs at, at zero. So it, yeah, I think this kind of diagram somehow in general should determine the short space, but I don't know how to make this diagram in general. In this case, it's clear what is the short space. Yes. You mean you always want to have some smooth thing mapping to it? And then the sword space would be pushed forward a smooth function. Exactly. Yeah, so in this case, maybe you can do this, you can do the same rule. Then like do the snap quotient, and, and this map is giving you a short space. And so in this case, we we do have the start how to to guess what is, you know, if you want that the, the kernel act on if the usable representation of the torus by the correct gamma factor, and you only have one choice that is the that is, if you want the J rule P at some point in T had to be. I mean, I'm, I'm very you know, lousy, but I if integrate the fiber of the side of the trace, like, to get some measures. But it had to be fixed, but it can be fixed. Uh, um, uh, also, it, this is the top of the support, but it is not hard to renormalize because basically when you, when you um, <coughs> convolve with the some compact group, and this thing become compact supported. Sorry, um, I'm, what, what, uh, what is this? Well, uh, what is the on the left? So this is the kernel. Oh, that's the kernel. That's the kernel. The kernel. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the kernel I want. This kind of Bessel function, right? I mean, the kernel is really the Bessel function. Okay, and what is the what is the domain of the integral? You really it? take the fibers. You look at a point in here. You look at the fibers. The uh -huh. fiber is kind of a torus, it's a dual torus, and then you have a function. In, I see. So in the split case, it would literally be a Bessel function, psi of x plus x inverse. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And on the case of finite thing, it is the Kostelman sums. Okay. In this case, it is literally the Kostelman sums. Good. So this is the correct answer. Yeah. <laughs> So, but then they give the uh, also it, it, it on the on the finite field just to, to for the box it really give you the constants. In the real case, it give you the basic functions. All right. So, um, uh, uh, 
And so this is uh, so this customer summary in the socket. All right. So now we uh, want to you know try to you know use this construction in the case of non commutative case, and let uh, let G which will be a split with two groups. Uh, and uh, and her role. Uh, so now just as I just try to simplify things. It can work for this. It can work very generally, but uh, and um, so so T is a maximal split torus and then the Y group is torus and um, and then you can actually because the, the way you construct the torus is totally common at torus. So multiple of weight and W up on that. So then W up canonically. On the diagram on, on, on the uh, and you restrict row to the other to the torus and head up and that Then you have a situation like this, you go to T, and then you can look to the the, uh, the rough quotient. On the locus where the W upper freely, this is the uh, Cartesian diagrams. And this is by by standard, you know, that is the same as the GIT quotient of G of energy by Tadran quotient. So the, the, the you know this diagram, what did I say diagram? So what it does for you is actually is put on the tori on the same base, not just the speed tori and other tori in my W action. And the kind of if you forget about this use and what you have smooth function, you can you know you can just put all this function together on the different toris. So um, so basically the same construction, same formula. And then of course you have to normalize measure on different form in kind of, uh, of uh, an intelligent way, and give you a, a function. A smooth function on at least some on some on some regular element on on t mod w. Okay, and so it give you some stable invariant function on g. So, so uh, this sorry, Chuck. May I just ask yes. about that torus example again, just to help me understand this? That was standard for standard or standard for standard dual that, that you said. For G and one, I can I can hardly distinguish standard as a dual, but uh, no, no. But if you take the sum of the two, is it yeah. plus the same? Is it like x plus x inverse or x plus? I think it's standard plus standard. Uh, I want standard plus standard because for the for the whole check, I want it to be the multiplication. Oh, ah, okay. Right. okay. It had to be a part of identity plus identities and then dual line, we have this multiplication of the identity. Okay, because I just want to understand this torus inside, sitting inside SL2 or something. So if it had been standard plus standard inverse, is it easy to say how this picture would change? I, I don't know why it's standard plus standard because the... Uh, if then the plus standard inverse, then this is going to be x times y minus one. Uh, and I don't have this a2 anymore. I, have to point it, I mean, that is condition over there. It has this kind of GM. Uh, okay, 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 sorry. Also, it kind of, uh, I don't understand it entirely, but this <coughs> thing that makes things much better, you know, for the finite field case, with this condition, it can be proven that the the cost of you get the local systems. Otherwise, of kind of thing, I don't really get it, but it is. Okay. So they have much nicer behavior in imposed the on the grid going to some directions. Okay. Yes, yeah. So this let me call this function obtained by the degree of row of T W. 
And of course, the, the very naive question is, yes, this, it, this is the, the, the correct answer that you want to. You have some simply invariant function, <coughs> defined by a torus by torus. <coughs> and so that gives you some function on the regular submissive element of G. Indeed, the function you want, you want some kind of stable invariant function that gives you one function. And it suddenly coincides with it, but it, and it's worth for a torus case for obvious reasons. And it works for the good case. And are you so, saying that distribution will actually, it's like locally L1 or something, so it's, yes, deter, it's yes. determined by it? I mean, I, I would like to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it turned out to be wrong. And then when you come to this, yeah. So this is the next case, the ship tools on the wrong, but it's very interesting. It's wrong in a very interesting way. But before coming to this, I want to go to, to say some words about the. Oh, I don't have much time left, but I think I want to say something about finite field case. You know, all these questions can be asked for finite field case. You know, when you have G, you have dual, or dual, you want to construct some invariant functions that be up on the Representation by the correct gamma factors. Right? You know what the correct gamma factors is, um, and uh, so so in the case of finite field case, group of finite field, then you have uh, then you have this row check from D row to P, and with this kind of positivity condition, they have this uh, J. Now I look at the shift, aortic shift, this row. Check uh, push forward of the trace of the fish higher shift. This is fish higher shift. We give a post and one sums. And again, with these conditions, this is actually uh, a local system. And uh, also, in the case of, of GL, this is going to be W in front. So, when you have W inversion of torus, you can make a torus of both sheets, right? First, let's see to raise the last of the element. And uh, so we have this diagram. So, at least on regular semi simple element, uh, you can descend it to the by W action. You can pull it back to regular semi simple G and do the, the middle extension. But it turned out to be. So again, I mean, all this construction is kind of basically was, you know, in some form in cut by right? uh, But if you do this like this, it turns out to be wrong. You need to be some correction. You need a very sudden uh, uh, correction on the action of that people. It's not kind of this simple minor action. You have that you were in the way. You have to modify a little bit. And it took, if I have a two side function, I have a side function of W into plus or minus one. W has a cos sector group, it has side. But you have another side because you have W going to, to the symmetric group of N. N is the dimension of the torus. You have this function of the finite set. It has another side function. <coughs> And so had to use this multiply to correct, to multiply the option with this to say before doing this construction, before descend, and then you descend and you uh, push forward, and then you get the. Uh, what is the map to a symmetric group you are using? So, it, 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 you know, this torus is given by the set of weight. Of the it's head. a multi set. The multi set. You can see that, you can you can see that, I mean, you see multi set because you can add. I mean, it's not petty, but it, it, it has a canonical connection. This multi set is kind of alpha one, alpha two, the same alpha two, it adds. Yeah. And actually, that's, I mean, it's, 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 in here, it's, it's, it's not difficult to see that whatever definition is the same thing. So, you know, there's some kind of doubt that this is a good thing to do, but at least there's one obvious thing to do. But in general, the, the, the normalizer doesn't go to normalizer. 
it could normalize the sum of the list of groups. But you know, there's one definition that gives you a, a map probably compared to the symmetry group in one of the internet. And it, you know it. And here you can um, it, now it, after correctly thing and doing this uh, descent, W descent, and then do with the middle expansion. And that gives you the correct gamma shift. This is the, the uh, this is the uh, 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 conjecture of Bagman and Kashner, and it was uh, proven in GNN for any for any row by by Chen and and myself uh, by some very calculation method. It's too complicated that you can you can GNN this matrix. You can also do computation. Which the extension does it? So, so here you have your shift on T, you have option W, you correct with this sign, you have another option of W, and you, you restrict it to regular submissive for locus, you be set it here, and then oh, right from regular submissive. For regular submissive for then we everything on regular submissive for and extend it. Uh, there's it's coming more interesting, much more conceptual proof given by by uh, for genesis by by South and Chen. So I mean this is uh, I think it needs to be proper and as a sort if you want to uh give a follow confidence. But the chain is actually he doesn't do any calculation of it. He defies some subcategory of category equivalent shift that satisfies some uh, some vanishing properties. So this turned out to be some kind of vanishing properties where it be called the variable descent. And then uh, with this kind of proper sign, it actually furnishes these categories. Uh, and but this is this proof is using also many child form. I mean I don't really quite completely understand it. But, yeah. and so it's really perverse feed and not ordinary feed. Perverse shift. Yeah, it needs to be perverse shift. And by the way, you know, if I've of course on this uh, you know, this in, in, in our proof, it boiled down to the usual property of customer sheet, but you know, on the hyper customer sheet, the symmetric group of x side. That gives you some vanishing properties. This is for general G? What's it? No, no, this is for GLN, where you can do you know, complete calculation. What's for chain and intro for GLN? Yeah. Rather, a completely different proof. All right, so now, uh, wow. Well, let me say something about the general case, about the local, local fit case. So now, now F is local, non local, non affiliated film. And Laurent Lafort in one of his papers here in the real life, this naive construction is, is not working. So, by the way, for local things, you cannot make this size, this size modification. There's no way to put this size. I don't know how to do it. But if, if you just do the nothing, it's not the same. Because it already doesn't act. Because this thing does not act. Act on principal series. By the right gamma factors, there's some shift. So he proposed a way to get GN to have to correct this uh, discrepancy. So and he proposed some some recipe to correct. When you say shift, it's it's like it's a, by some quadratic characters, like what you see. No, no, no. I should not say shift. It's kind of radically different. Okay. okay. Correct by correct. Uh, correct. So this is the, it looked quite unbelievable, but you know, uh, so let G to be in GM2, and you want A1 to be the trace of G, and A2 to be the determinant of G. And um, uh, so J of rho for T for W can be roughly C as a function of A1 and A2. You're going to do the full transforms. 
on the trace value. Transport on A1. And uh, we look like this. So we have J fully transform on this variable with a head, T mode W. Now we can find one of the dual variable of A2, but this dual variable alpha one. A2 is called the full H of the integral number of J rho T W, A1, A2, psi minus uh, alpha 1, A1, D A1. And the correct answer is going to be the, the do the full inductions. J rule head plus alpha one, A two, but with inserting multiplied by the absolute values of alpha one. Sorry. Now it's no sign. Oh, it, it, La for formula is some kind of determinant that come in, but I think it's really relevant for, for my discussion, so I remove it. So when, um, it can be checked that you know, this formula, after doing this, it gives you the correct answer. So, uh, so the purpose of my work with Zilling is trying to understand this and you know, how, how it can generate. What, 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 what does it mean? It's so this. What case is he looking at? GL2? This is for GN2, but for any row. It works, I mean, in the case of at for symmetry, symmetry square. It, it, it is the, the right answer. I don't know. Okay, so I think I think you have the, the time to write the formula. So you want to some kind of pseudo differential operator. That describes different operators. So we're going to write these different operators that give you that transform from this kind of naive kernel to the correct kernel. And um, again, then, then I can write a formula. So for G equal to GLN, and AE is the trace west I. And so I write A to be A1, AN. Now, I do this thing like in the you know in this paper with Langland and Franke. I do the full transform on these variables. So now the alpha and alpha one, alpha n, so the dual variable of these things. And so we have a uh, alpha, the sum of alpha i, a i. Just like a one cell, we have also the determinant. Well, yeah, I think this kind of variable, I just put it to, to make the formula look better, but it, it's the equivalent. Uh, so this is the formula. So, so at this point, I ignore on the convergence issue. It, it, it turned out to be much harder than I believe at the first, but it's still the kind of thing that we had to work on. So we do the full transform of this. So on alpha, we get this, of course, you have this J rho. Do a and psi of minus a alpha d a and you're going to define that a rho of g of a is a full inverse so this is fn of j with two full transforms uh t mode w on alpha and then absolute value some polynomials, but now it depends on the heavy depend on both A and N. Upside A alpha B alpha. And I write this polynomial. So this time only running out of time. So dn is the 
of polynomials of variable AI and VI. So of course, it can be seen as first invariant polynomial G and N, but with parameter and five parameters. And then when do we on torus? So on the torus, the N of T and F is this, so this product upon the subset I uh, inside the uh, uh, so I is going to be uh, E1, E2, E n minus two inside one to n. So n n minus two subset. And then here you're going to take the sum. The problem doesn't look bad, but you don't understand what it means. And for I, the trace of which I minus one. Yeah. That's it. And TI is, of course, going to be the diagonal matrix of TI1, uh, TI, and minus two. Yeah. And I claim that, you know, if you ignore all the covers issues, this be do it uh, the right thing. You're going to make something compatible with the uh, with actor principle theory at the right time. And you know when the pay n will do two, so this is zero, so this empty set, right? But this it have only at one, exactly the the platform thing at one. Yeah. So um uh, so first I had to, to notice that this is the um, this is somehow this is a uh, and then you can see it's an invariant function on the Canonical. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do here, but it's really you know canonical on this. So, but I, you know, okay, I cannot even guess what how can write this formula for other groups. So the way it comes along is 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 not directly. You need uh, I think he's begging for five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Is it, is it can I have a two more two minutes? Three. Give me three. Ah. <laughs> three. Three. All right. So um well I mean the this you know we want to this, do some kind of descent formula. So what you want here is the, the formula you want the payroll and both C and then descend the same as the the J row for T and bone C. So this is the formula that guarantees the descent works, the power descent works. So the, after converting with this function, this uh, is the right, the right, the torus is the right color. So, but this is very kind of complicated. So what does subscript n mean? N is a, the maximum independent subgroup. It's in the variety called the Borel subgroup. So, so what does that mean you integrate along n? What does that notation mean? If you, you see the constant terms. So, oh, okay, constant, it's a function. Okay, okay. I tell me, yeah, convolve the constant term in the same way. Okay. This is what you want. Yeah, so, you know, we of course for GLN, we go to GLN minus one, then minus two. But some other, the only thing that, that make it work some, is some, uh, you know, some, some, some funny calculation is if you, uh, so this is, you had to write some, some metric like this, n minus one, and V, um, some v minus and v of tn. This is some metric, this is m minus one, this is some columns and some vectors. And if you actually want to compute the AI, the, the trace of what I have this. It turned out to be a nice formula that is for this case that you it's the same as the AI of the what is the V plus some terms. Some C terms depend on XM minus one and V and V chain. So that's what makes GNN work most of the finite fin In this case, you this is this, this is just a linear function. It's kind of surprising that you compute this complicated thing, but it becomes just a linear function on these vectors. So this linear function, and it is some um, homogeneous condition degree N minus one. So you can write it matrix. 
a vertex and take the sum and to get some kind of determinants because you have to do some full inversion, some you know, some volume factors coming up, this kind of thing that, that's showing up. And so it just happened to be the determinant is just the you know, the ratio of dn divided by dn minus one with some adequate chain coordinate. I'm not going to write this formula here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Any other questions? I just want to know the, the what all you get. So if you take GL2 and you your row is arbitrary, then your one gets all the symmetric parallel functions this way. Or that's the hope. That's the hope. That's the hope. Well, but even for GN2, I think I mean it's, I, I, actually the it was I mean I, of course, the fork seemed to, to say that he can, but I, I couldn't figure out how he could prove on the convergence programs. But you know, multiply with this to influence that from back is kind of hard to make sense. But, uh, uh, but it, at least in the case like in symmetry squared, it, it, when you write the formally, it, it, it is the, the right kernel, because that way we know the, the, the kernels. And so, of course, you want to prove this thing is, is you know, have the right factors, not only, for, not only on, on the principal series, but on the discrete series as well. That it can kind of hard to, 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 to prove. But, uh, so one gets, one hopes to get a larger family of L functions than what Lang and Shahidi would give. Yes, yeah, I mean, it may potentially give all L functions. <laughs> And your formula is for all rows the same pseudo differential operator. Yes, yeah, yeah, it, 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 this is an important point. This open it has to be independent of rows. So the row only adds to, to this kind of naive function, and there's some quite different operators that depend on the group the structures of the groups. Uh, and that is the record. Uh, minor question. So the, the way you input the info. Information about the representation is the same as in Godoma Jacke. You integrate, you take a matrix quotient and you integrate against the Schwartz function on this. They do MN, but I suppose you are doing M rule. So, so no, that for, for local L factor, you need this Schwartz function, right? And then you integrate it uh, against matrix. matrix and that, that should give you the local factors, but we do not have uh, that space yet. Any other questions? Any questions from Zoom? Peter's not here to call somebody out on Zoom, so I guess <laughs> I won't do that either. So, all right, well, let's like and go again. Yeah.